hi guys welcome back to my channel don't forget to like share subscribe all the good stuff so we have another teen mom when will this ever end so i guess let's get into it if you're on Twitter and IG, I'm sure you've saw um, the bits where Mackenzie and uh, Macy are going back and forth about each other. Now, you heard Bentley saying that he did not want to go to Ryan's house. He was okay with going to Mimi Jen's, but not to um, Ryan's. So a clip then has come up on Teen uh, Al. I'll post the link to the IG, but um, she has the full clip. I obviously can't post. I can post the recording, the voice, but if you want to go and view it, she has the full thing. I think it's called Teen Mum Talk, I believe, but I'll post the link anyway in the descriptions. And so if it goes on to say, Mackenzie is brave to sit down on a couch responding to strangers on social media about my son, but still not brave enough to come and sit on a couch and talk to me at a reunion because somebody in a uh, screen grabbed and posted, check out Mackenzie calling out Bentley a liar on IG. So I'm like, uh, what? So it goes on and it says, um, yesterday was celebrated Jagger's birthday, blah, 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 blah. And then there's a couple of people saying he's a douchebag. And then it goes, um, this one person says, the fact that you're really posting this picture, knowing that you all didn't even speak to Bentley the whole time, that there is sad. She said, uh, the fact that you believe this is very sad. And then people's going, so wait, you're calling Bentley a liar? Now, this kid, you know, he doesn't lie. He's a genuinely nice kid. Like, you know, out of all of the kids, I think he is one of the nicest kids. He's so polite. He's so well to do. I'm going to play the recording now and then we'll talk again. Good, but there's like no interaction. No interaction with who? Like me and daddy. You know, we didn't really talk much. You got a card. Do you try to say hello? Yeah, like uh, when he got there, he said hey. Yeah, look, open it up. You said hey, hey, bad. Yeah. That was it? Mhm. Mm Pretty much. Do you feel uncomfortable at all? No, because I mean I wasn't really around him. So. So where was he? Like after Jagger opened his presents, he was in his room. In his room? The whole time? I mean, pretty much. Where's Mackenzie at? She was down there. Nobody says, hey, Ryan, get the hell up. Mm -hmm. And he showed up like 30 minutes late. By himself? Jenny, how'd the birthday party go? Well, all the family's over there for Jagger's birthday. Mm -hmm. I can tell you're mad. Are you mad? Yeah? I mean, wasn't really about me. I mean, it was Jagger. That's right. right. That's right. You're correct, son. You are correct. Remember, you can't control all the situations. You can always be a good big brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So, as you heard then, Bentley said that he really didn't have much interaction with his daddy. He came 30 minutes late and then he went to his room this guy is not straight let let's just get that out this guy is not friggin straight he is he has addiction issues i think it's very clear that he has issues but the fact that you know he basically let his kid just sit there is just gross you know go and watch the footage it's really telling the you know the voice part alone is really telling but the video footage is way more telling um again i will link the ig page that i got this from be, um, in the description so just press it on there you can go to it it's just so bad that this bloke, a grown-ass adult, and then his wife, if you want to call her that, is there basically calling him a liar. Like, what is your problem? Well, then some other things come up according to the Ashley. 
So, as I said, according to the Ashley Reality Roundup, again, I will link in the descriptions. Uh, she have put out some stuff here about what Mackenzie have said. Now, according to this, it uh, said that, you know, her husband's on and off substance abuse, blah, 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 blah. But then sort of it goes off to speak that she's actually going to an AL um alcoholics anonymous um groups she said i've never seen that i've never seen someone that needs al as bad as the entire edwards clan one person wrote on mackenzie's instagram post they all just as sick as ryan is and then she wrote thank you for your advice i go to al al anonymous so she's basically saying here that she has she also has addiction issues correct so that kind of makes up for why and who she is but i just feel so sorry for these kids that they keep having you know they got ryan got what three kids i know one isn't his biologically but he's there all the time so they got three kids constantly there with them their father is on god knows what their mother drinks god knows what and god knows how much like child come on now surely by now like somebody would have intervened and been like you know this these kids like i don't know i don't know how to feel about it because every time you see them they look healthy and happy and stuff but mm, i don't know As I said, you know, the kids do look happy and healthy and stuff like that. But what kind of life are they having? Like, you know, is it just they're happy and healthy when the cameras are around because mummy's not drinking and daddy's not high? I don't, I don't know, guys. I just, there's something not right. And I think, you know, Macy is 100% right. She's there big enough writing all crap about Bentley calling him a liar, but yet won't sit on a couch with her, I think. And Jen and Larry are just so gross to me. I'm sorry if anyone's a fan of them, but I'm honestly not. The fact that they can, like, sit there and allow this kind of shit to happen. And I honestly think it's because Larry has a drinking issue and probably Jen does as well. Like, in my opinion, they always seem to, if you go back or, like, we all been watching Teen Mom and 16 and Pregnant for many years now. Every time it would go to the segment of the show, he would have beer in his hand. You know, there's, there's addiction that runs in that household. And I think both of them should maybe leave the children with Mackenzie's parents maybe for a little while and go into rehab the pair of them. They both desperately need it. They both need it and they both deserve to be happy and healthy and more importantly those children deserve health, healthy and happy parents do you know what i mean i don't know guys for me i just think it's a bit weird it, it the fact that she admits that she has an alcohol issue he admits that he has a substance issue what kind of life is it like and you heard bentley you know it's not about me it's about jagger that honest to god broke my heart and how responsible for a little boy to say that it's not about my feelings it's about jagger's birthday like macy should be so proud of her damn son like honestly for a little one of that age to be like that is just amazing and i think i show sort of how he grew up and if like i said if you go and look at the um video it's on that team i'm teen talk I will link it, I promise. Um, on the video, you know, you can see that they're really not interested in them. They're interested in the little lone thing. And he's just sat there on a chair. And then afterwards, when he's telling um, Taylor about this, you know, Taylor is furious. You can see that he is absolutely mad as hell. And then Macy's sort of saying, I can tell that you're mad. <laughs> and yeah. If you see the video, he is genuinely mad. It's really sad, but it is what it is, unfortunately. You know, he can't do anything. He is his father. 
but I would definitely not allow them to have any contact while there's so many issues going on. And to be honest, I know this is going to sound bad, but I wouldn't allow him to go to Mimi and Jen's and Larry's either because they are just enabling at this point. They're allowing, they're killing their son. That's what's happening. In my opinion, they are killing their son, allowing him to carry on and her carrying on. What's her liver like, you know? God. So, as you've seen, there's issues all around in the Edwards' life. You know, every single one of them needs some kind of treatment. You know, whether it's in treatment or not, is I'm no professional. But for me, I just think it's so, so bad and so unhealthy for those kids. So unhealthy for them, you know. They deserve to be healthy and happy. And I really hope that they... Ryan's parents start sort of holding them accountable because at the seams of it they don't which is so freaking frustrating but I will try and link all the stuff now at the bottom uh thanks for watching don't forget to give the thumbs up and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications on my next upload thanks for watching bye guys